we've got loaded up one of our pre-generated characters, but you could create your own. Uh, but it's fair to just go ahead and start playing here. Now, if you were to begin this with a brand new adventurer, a brand new character, uh, this is the story, it's called Naked Doom. It originally came out in 1977, and we remastered it for digital platforms. Naked Doom is the story of you are a criminal convicted of some unknown offense in the seat of imperial power in the fantasy world, and in order to gain your freedom, you need to go through this labyrinth of traps and poisons and monsters, and if you get out, you get your freedom. But most people don't. Uh, and and when, the, when the creator wrote this adventure, he even said, I'm honestly trying to kill your first level characters, and I think I have a good shot at getting them in the first room. So with that, <laughs> good luck, here we go. So yeah, you, you get the core moment-to-moment -moment experience here, right? You've got your, it's kind of a digital choose-your-own-adventure sort of vibe, right? We've got your art, in this case this is from some of the classic adventures, your text, your choices. Uh, one thing you can see here, but is a little obscure there, is your character snap art. So if you just go down to the bottom of the screen and click on that, here we go. So here's your character. You got your permanent attributes, that's what your stats are, and then temporary, as you take damage, your con will go down. If you get a buff, these will change. But this is your core stats, and then you can also look at your inventory. If you start Naked Doom as a beginning adventure, you have no inventory, so it's a little tougher, but Orgoth is a veteran and you're going to be fine. <laughs> I should mention the illustration you saw earlier in this one were both done by Liz Danforth, who is actually in the booth here now. Um, so Liz has been part of the Tunnels and Trolls development team from the beginning, but has also done very well as an artist of magic cards, covers for DD, a lot of the classic RPG stuff. So, all right, here we go. It's about to heat up. All right, so uh, two of the Empire's best archers are now trying to fire poison arrows into your back. You got to make some saving rolls. All right, so far so good. The way uh, saving rolls work in Tunnels and Trolls is they're based against your attributes, right? So a first level saving roll, you gotta roll 20 minus your attribute on two dice. Sometimes you'll have to roll an exceptionally large number that might not be normally achievable on two dice if it's a high level saving roll, a really bad stat. But as long as you're rolling doubles, you get to keep rolling and adding again. So there's always a chance. But in this case, you're in pretty good shape with a, a high level character. your strength, dex, and charisma. So if you click on your stat bar again, you'll see that, where now suddenly you're looking a little more epic as a hero, and you're in much better shape going into some of these conflicts. All right, you're in good shape, no wandering monster. <laughs> Get away from the mushroom. You could eat more. I mean, we're not going to stop you. I'm not saying it's a good idea. Oh. Ah, see, here you go. Normally, you might have thought that was a failure, but you rolled doubles. So, yeah, if you roll a two and a one on two dice, it's always a failure. Try to escape, here we go. Uh-oh. Nope. 
The vampire bats. This is the end. <laughs> So there you go, that's your core game experience, right? And we've launched with a tutorial in five of the classic Tunnels and Trolls adventures that have been published over the years. And what we're gonna show you now is the adventure creator. And I'll shut this out. Where we are gonna be working on the adventure that we're publishing a week from today. It's an adventure called Stop Thief, written by Michael Stackpole, who also was one of the early guys working on Tunnels and Trolls, but after some years working at Flying Buffalo and Tunnels and Trolls and designing another a uh, number of other RPGs, he became a Star Wars novelist and graphic novel writer. And in fact, his work is the part of the Star Wars canon that was used as the basis of Rogue One. So fairly prolific guy, New York Times best-selling author, and we're going through a process of remastering a bunch of his adventures now to bring out on the app as well. And so what you're looking at here is the adventure creator. Now this is something that we want to get into the hands of people as soon as we can so they can start working and making their own adventures and publish them. But for now, we're using it as our internal tool where we make these things. And so as a quick look, this is what the Stop Thief adventure looks like, right? Each of these frames is a screen in the game. And each of these lines coming out of them are a path. So as an example here, right, right in the beginning, and we'll zoom in a bit. So, you know, in each of these things, we let you skip the introduction if you've already played through it, but if you don't. And so a purple is just a path. It's one of those things where you choose something. Red and green indicate a conflict of some kind, either a combat that you win or lose, green for if you win, red if you lose, or a saving roll, green if you succeed, red if you fail. And the system automatically generates the next frame in those cases. If there's a combat, you have a success, you have a victory and defeat frame. If it's a saving roll, you have a success and failure frame, and you just go from there. And you're able to easily track your interactive branching here in the map view. And then in each of these frames, right, so here's the just the very beginning of the adventure. You have the ability to, number one, just input your text, no big deal, in a sort of WordPress style interface. You insert choices here, and so as an example, so because we've already put some stuff in here, we'll create a whole new frame, but you get the ability to pull things from a drop-down menu and such. For each frame, you can choose art, and you can be searching for different things or just pick the sort of stuff we've got. Similarly, for each frame, there are audio effects. So you've got the, the music soundtrack here, where you if this is the music in the background in this area, then there's the ambient sound, which is, so now you're here at the ocean floor, and then there's no sound effect on this frame, but for each frame, is how that sort of stuff works. Now, the way that, you know, we do this, right, in general, is we'll, we'll go through one of these classic adventures, and we'll be looking at the text, and we'll be making some changes, add monsters, add treasure, uh, we can add items or take items away from you. You know, just very clear things that work in this sort of light RPG, choose your own adventure style. Now, this adventure, right, is, is reasonably complete at this point, but we could easily add a new frame here. So, for example, let's pick one here. All right, captured undercover. Okay, so Stop Deep is an adventure in which you are hired by one of the more famous non-player characters of, of Tunnels and Trolls, Mingor Diamond Fist, who runs a big shipping company in the city of Gaul. Things are being stolen, and so he's hiring you to go figure out what's going on. And through the process, you have to infiltrate the thieving ring, and maybe you get caught, maybe you join them, uh, maybe you actually succeed and you can report back to Mingor successfully. This is a branch where you thought you were infiltrating the gang nicely, but unfortunately they figured you out, right? So the way this goes from here is this is a story branch where now, okay, you've been busted, you're in trouble, and they're gonna take you to the rats. But we could change that, right? And we could say, for example, uh, we could we could make that a saving roll instead. We could make that uh, a combat instead. We could do a you know we could do a completely different change. And so for this, why don't we do that? We're going to add another thing here, and just for fun, right? We'll say uh, let's say this is a surrender, and here we'll make it a fight. So if you don't. All right, so now 
we're going to we're going to that new frame. The frames always keep the image that you previously had, but it lets you ch change it, and it also keeps the sound and music and effects from the previous frame. Now, in that one, it had a death sting. Apparently, you died in that, but we could change that to anything we wanted to, right? Uh, wow, the speaker's a little off. Uh, we've got you know a number of things that are in the platform now. Where, for example, one of the adventures that we're about to is in our future is Arena of Kazaya, another classic Tunnels and Trolls adventure that's all about a gladiator arena, and you're fighting through that. So we've got a bunch of, uh, yeah, I haven't, honestly, I haven't even heard some of this music before. This is pretty cool. The, uh, so there's a, you know, that gladiator vibe going on here. Okay. So at any rate, we could we could pick a different image and we could just be you know completely silly here. So as an example, let's just hit random. Okay, here we are. We're you know maybe you're not really fighting the gang. You escape the gang and run through the city. And you know just for now we'll do this. So then if I cut back to the map view. So you can see where we've just put those frames. We added this new thing here. And let's go ahead and preview this. And we'll start from here. And we'll actually see the work that we just did live on the screen. Fire it up, and it picks us up right where we were. So now we have these two different frames here, right? So if you say fight, right, it takes us to the frame we just made, right? So obviously this is very incomplete and things like that, but just as an illustration of how this could work. And if I come back to the adventure creator, so this, this is the one that we're working on now, but as one last thing to kind of show you a bit, we took this to PAX South and we just had people come into the booth and make things, right? And uh, these were people who had never played Tunnels and Trolls before, never seen us look at our tech. This is the adventure that was created on the first day of PAX South, right? So here we have, you know, frames that people were writing and things, and as an example, right, just for, you know, the course of eight, eight hours a day, three days, right? This is, this is the adventure from day one. And it's a, uh, you know, everybody was making these little tiny adventures. We ended up with 25 different of these vignettes. And as I zoom out, right, it's just a very long thing that people were able to do. And it just speaks to, yeah, this is actually pretty easy to do and, and people were really enjoying doing it. And part of the fun of this is, is in making these adventures. Right, we'll pick one of these beginning frames here. The, uh, a lot of what we did with people is we just said, let's pick a, a random image. Okay, what's happening here? You know, because a lot of people would be like, oh, I've got an idea for a story, but most people didn't. It's like, I don't know. Hit random, here's an image. Okay, what's happening in this image? How do we do something here? So there you go. That's kind of how the, the core of this works. Uh, the game is launched now on the Apple App Store and Google Play. It's free to play. So you can literally play everything we've put out there for free, as long as you're willing to watch some ads for some of the premium content, or if you would rather turn off the ads, the adventures themselves range from a dollar to four dollars. Fairly inexpensive stuff. Uh, we are going to be making more adventures coming out every week, and then as we get closer into the winter, we'll be releasing on PC, Mac, and Steam, and we'll start a closed beta of the adventure creator so people can start making their own. And ultimately publishing their own, and if people, as every time somebody plays your adventure, you'll get a big share of all the advertising and purchasing revenue it generates. Right on Steam, for example, they publish it and push it that way, is that Yeah, exactly. So, the, you, you would, you would finish your adventure, right? We would look at it to make sure you didn't do anything bad, no plagiarism and hate speech and, you know, objectionable content. And assuming you didn't, then we deploy it directly out to Steam, App Store, Google Play, things like that. It'll be within the Tunnels and Trolls Adventures app, and then when somebody plays and they see your adventure and they start playing it, if they watch ads, you get a big share of that. If they purchase it, you get a big share of that. Something that is, you know, again, the platform guys always take their cut, right? That sort of thing. But after that, it's something that we share directly with the creator of the game.